my creatures quickly scared them just delicious kids are ever cadaver baby today we're doing the classic you versus them we're gonna see what is going on between you and your person my boo boo whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble date marriage snake in the grass you know how how it is okay we've got one jumping card we got the grim reaper already so you know but we assume some kind of a rift or separation in the you versus them readings and i feel like this is a separation an ending something something and i think it's an ending or if you're you know currently you know in a situation with that person i think you know there's like a pending ending the ending is pending all right we're rhyming uh the eight of wands but there's a communication that's being awaited <clears throat> communication is due communication is um, also pending. How interesting. An ending in communication. Yeah, it's not over until it's really over. It's not over. Eight of Cups. So, mm, mm. Ginter, did this person walk away from you? It's almost like somebody walked away at night. Somebody walked away in pain. Let's see. Please show me angels of love. What happened here? For Ginter, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is your February energy, 2024. Bill, okay, yeah. Listen, Bill. If this is like a situation on the rocks, right? You got your little situation, you got your scrumptiousness, and you know something is ending or has ended. I do see a person here. You know, your person has the Page of Pentacles, so that's their entire energy about the situation about you. They are hoping to still receive a message from you, or they're crafting a message to send to you. Uh, so communication is pending post-ending. <laughs> All right, somebody write a poem about it down in the comments below. Communication is pending. It's someone who, you know, they miss you, but Bill. It could have been a month, could have been five weeks since something big happened here between the two of you. They miss you a lot. Um, they're a little scared to, to reach out. It could be someone who's not very good with their words. I think or maybe they told you that uh, themselves. It's someone who is kind of more grounded in action. Um, they got those bare feet here in the grass. So uh, it could be someone who's very good with nature, good with tools, good with like, you know, physical things. They're not so good at communication. They don't know how to say it. They know what, uh, what they want to say. They understand what their heart is trying to say. They don't know how to say it, keep their baby. They do see it was the big lesson of their life, but also their big commitment. So you taught them something about um, how to commit to a situation, how to uh, commit to a person, and what their priorities should be. Could be an earth sign, they could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or, or a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. All right, so let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So this is someone who has like a lot of anxiety uh, over this communication that is pending. They know they need to send you a message. They know they need to explain something. They don't know how they feel very small as well. So he's feeling quite small. I think you uh, also told them something about themselves, you know? You are like, this is an unacceptable behavior, kind of like a teacher, you know, <laughs> go in the corner. Good for you, Keith, there. Also, baby, before we get into your douche flute, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you, my baby. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. Bill. I love you so much, my uh, fellow crustacean. Grab a crustacean of the Zodiac because I am a Scorpio and I feel like we really vibe. All right, yeah, your person, look at this person, how big they used to be, the emperor. <laughs> They went from the emperor to, to a little page, and this is the lesson you taught them, baby. From this to this. Hmm? Maybe you illuminated things uh, for them about their inner child. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between, you met on Tinder on the Tuesday. <clears throat> it is someone who came in like, yeah, with a big ego. <clears throat> Maybe they have a lot of achievements. Do they have a lot of like... Um, clout when it comes to dating you know maybe they have a reputation could be a bit of heartbreaker uh you know could be also someone who has their own business they're used to being the head of a household but it is someone who's like very much in charge of their life you know on top of the world even and you <laughs> reduce them to this like <laughs> mumbling little child hmm good good for you can't i love that energy with bill between your disappointment this person did disappoint you and this is about commitment here. So somebody could have been leading you on a little bit. I think you could have felt like, you know, um, could be someone like post divorce, you know, or, or someone who was just um, taking their time committing and they were like putting it on you saying, why are you rushing it? You know, um, I really want something serious, but I don't know if I want to get married again. Maybe you wanted to get married. I'm getting chills all down my body. 
I think that's a confirmation, you know, I think it made the, the hair stand, stand on your body because I think you've heard that one before. You know what I mean? And we're like, no, this is a red flag. Um, Ace of Wands, and you inserted yourself. You're like, well, I mean, look, I'm on top of the world too, baby. See, this person thought they were like the top dog. And you're like, no, it's not just you. I got my whole life. I got my thing. So it's like this person wanted you to adjust your life to them, to th their life. And in the end, they ran away from that commitment or responsibility. You challenged them. So you challenged them here. You were like, well, I mean, what do you bring to the table with them? <sighs> and something ended. That person ran away. They ran away from this face off almost. You know, you're like, I challenge you to a duel. And they were like, nope, <laughs> I'm scared. And they turned into a child. Um, if it was an established connection, baby, like a marriage, partnership, um, dating situation of some time, you, you got someone here who, again, wanted to rule the household. They wanted to be in charge, but they kept disappointing you in how they were doing it. And in the end, you were like, you want to be the boss, all right? Then be the boss. You know how to be the boss, but Bill, you're not helping me. You're not supporting me. Uh, you're not being kind and scrumptious and generous uh, of heart, bo mind, body, soul, money, whatever, you know? And you, you were forced to take matters into your own hands. So you had to heal the household yourself, or you had to heal that partnership yourself. You had to heal yourself. And you felt like this person was kind of always judging, you know? They always thought that they were better than you, always judging you. But it wasn't working for you anymore. And in the end, it was a disappointment. When you called them out, they were like, okay, I'm, I'm done, bye. They couldn't face it. And now, some time has passed. And this person is like, no, I, I, better, I better do something around this because I don't want to be without my cancer. That was the big lesson. The lesson is about commitment. Commit to the role, right? Like you want to be the, the emperor, like be, be emperor-esque. <laughs> Do emperor things. You're not doing emperor things. They thought they were being all high and mighty and stuff like that. The nine of wands here in their intention. So this is someone who hasn't finished business. And they will sail back to shore no matter what. Two of swords. Not just yet though. Because <laughs> they don't know what to say. Ah, oh, but Bill. This is kind of like pathetic douche loot energy. They caused all this trouble. They didn't, you know, they didn't, it was a long time. You'd been asking a long time if it was an established connection. Please change, please do those things. You know, you want the power, then, you know, take responsibility and they just went in. And the two of swords is telling me this person is like still not sure. They're totally destabilized because you t took matters into your own hands, but Bill. Um, another two weeks, Two hours, two days, two weeks need to pass before you hear from them. Six of cups in the end of this person is coming back to you, baby. So I don't know. I, I mean, it could be two days. It's like the 13th. Don't know if like a Valentine is coming your way from them, but like a proper conversation is definitely coming a little bit later. But they, they will be reaching out because they have to. What is the advice for my cancer? What is the advice for cancer? Ha ha ha, Grim Reaper. I don't know, but Bill, things ended for a reason. It's Scorpio energy. What are you willing to forgive and forget? You know, make a decision. This this would need to be like a totally new start. Either start again from scratch or start again with somebody new. That's what this is saying. But let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Remember, you deserve the best of the best, baby. The cream of the cream. Don't let any douche flu tell you otherwise. All right. I love you, my baby. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is down below. And if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because I've really helped your mommy out. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay spiky, stay good, stay moisturized, and maybe the angels protect you. Mm-hmm.